This week on The Queer Nation, I think we're talking about media, LGBT media. That in includes music, videos, DVDs, celebrities, books, all that sort of stuff. What kind of LGBT people do I look up to? As far as movies go, yeah, The L Word. I'm sad that The L Word stopped. I wish that they were on like The L Word season 8. I'd still be watching. I know that's sad and cheesy, but. I'd still be watching. I heard they were making something called the new L word. If there's something I'm not catching on to, someone please tell me, but it looks so stupid to me. So if I'm missing something, please clue me in, but it looks so dumb and I have no intentions of seeing it whatsoever. I like the itty bitty titty community. That was probably the first LGBT movie I ever watched. I thought it was very cute, of course. But a mature later, I mean, who hasn't seen that? That's a classic. I feel like pretty much everyone's heard of everything, which kind of disappoints me. I really wish that there were more movies being made about LGBT issues like that, because I think it's actually a really cool topic. You don't have to be LGBT, whatever, to enjoy these kinds of movies. I think it makes a good movie. So, I would like to see more of them. As far as books go, I haven't really read. There's an author, and his name is David Levithan, and you should definitely check him out. He has written a couple books that have gay themes in them, and they're really good books, actually. He wrote a couple. I can't remember the titles right now. This book and this book. They're both really good. If you guys know Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, he wrote half of that book. I would totally recommend him. Check him out. And on to people. I actually made a video about women that I look up to, 10 top inspirational women on that list. As Paula mentioned, Ellen DeGeneres. She is an amazing person to look up to because she has such a successful career. She's funny. She's a great person. And she's happy with Portia. That is so inspiring to me, seeing her as a successful gay woman. That is a really good sort of role model for me. So I love looking up to Ellen. And then on my list I had like, I just had people that I just generally think are pretty awesome and not are not necessarily gay, but are kind of somehow have become figures in the LGBT community. Like, um, well, Catherine Menning. I hate, to, I hate to say this, but she counts as a not straight person. We won't say she's gay, but we will not say she's a not straight person so she falls under the not straight category and she is most definitely awesome i follow her on twitter how dorky is that i like katherine Benning and i want to see her in more movies and more tv shows she had a tv show at the beginning of this year did anyone watch it it was called three rivers and they canceled it for reasons i know it was so bad but i watched every single episode of it because she was in it i was interested to see what was going to happen with her character she was like the rebellious nurse in in the show and she was supposedly straight and I was just wondering like when they were gonna start giving her relationships and what that was gonna be like watching Shane be straight you know but it, I never got the chance because they canceled it so anyway I'd like to see her do more stuff a couple other people on my list were like Haley Williams I think she's so awesome I love her voice she's so feisty I love her pink pink is a great great outstanding person in the LGBT community even though she's you know straight she's outspoken strong-minded that's great i love looking up to pink i love her music she writes songs about really interesting things and i love that those are people that i look up to a lot of the girls that i watch on youtube mm -hmm. like girls on this channel and girls on the beaver bunch and les is more the closet collab there's tons of lgbt collabs on YouTube and watching some of the girls on there and hearing what they have to say, being part of the gay community on YouTube has been so helpful. I've totally found people that I can relate to. Sometimes being stuck in a world that's dominantly straight, you get stuck like having to think that you have to be one thing or another on one side or the other. And it's not true. When you start seeing and meeting all these different people, you start seeing that you can totally be very unique. That is a great feeling. So all the women on YouTube are very inspiring and good role models. 
And that's why I make these videos for you guys, because I found it so helpful to listen to another person just you know, talk about random shit. It's just, it's so helpful to listen to other people, and I really encourage you guys to make videos too. It's not about getting watched on YouTube. It's really such a personal thing for me. I make the videos, and it helps me. And last but not least, I have to mention Tegan and Sarah. I am such a Tegan and Sarah fan right now. I know that is so stereotypically lesbian of me. Tegan and Sarah shirt. I saw them in concert a couple months ago. I got introduced to them by my ex-girlfriend, you know, but <laughs> they're great. I love them. And my favorite part about them is that their music isn't gay. Their whole act isn't we're gay twins from Canada. It's like they just make really good music and they have a really good stage presence and very little about them is that they're gay. It's like, it's like a little side note. And what bothers me is when like, in interviews, it's always brought up. Like, if you watch an interview with them, it's like, so you guys are two gay twins from Canada. It's like, that's not the point. Their music is awesome. Yeah, they just happen to be gay, but they're pretty cool. That's LGBT media to my best. I don't overindulge in it because I don't think it's completely necessary. But then again, I just don't overindulge in media in general. It's good to have a balance, because I think if you are surrounded by straight media all the time, that's not a great thing for a gay person, in my opinion. Definitely seek gay media. Uh, I'll try to post some interesting links below, like to other channels and cool people you should definitely check out. Anyway, good night guys. We'll see you later.